Why would anyone see all my medical records? I mean, a nervous breakdown hardly qualifies as a state secret. Obviously, the British government thinks there's a very good reason. And no one would tell you why? No, nothing. Oh, well, that's it then. I can't remember, and the government forbids me to read my own records. It's bloody ridiculous. We're not giving up, Alex. We're gonna find the truth. You deserve to know. Thank you. Ah, oh, puppy love. How touching. Well, don't let me interrupt. I meant what I said before. Listen, I'm going to Wild Wind, Jake and Jillian's engagement party. Um, you're gonna come later? Yeah, as soon as I finish this. Okay, good. See you then. Okay. I always thought that the Marek dynasty was famous for its sense of humor. Obviously, it skipped over the illegitimate son. Not much joie de vivre there. Invoice for lab equipment. Sign it, please. What is this? Karen's release form. What are you doing? I'm trying to release a healthy patient. No, you don't have the authority to approve her leaving the hospital. Of course I do. You asked me to assist. I'm on record as being one of her attending physicians. You had no right to do this without consulting me. She's not ready. There is absolutely no reason to keep this child in this hospital, Alex. Yes, the girl's safety. Medically speaking, she's perfectly sound. We can't hide a healthy child in a hospital because you think there might be a problem. We've done our job, Alex. It's time to release Karen's case to the proper agency. No, I won't let you ruin this girl's life. God knows what will happen to Karen now. I will continue to periodically monitor her heart condition. You assume that someone will actually bring her in for a checkup? Well, yes. You assume a lot. She was traumatized. You knew that. My field is cardiology, Alex. How can you be so heartless? And do you actually have a pulse? Her father may be guilty of abuse. There was no concrete evidence of that. Because she can't speak. She's been traumatized. Child services will investigate. If they see that there was a problem, they will take the appropriate action. It was our job to protect her until she felt safe enough to confide in us. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Alex, but this is not murky old England. Government doesn't pay for hospitalization while we wait for Karen to name the person who may or may not have abused her. So this is all about freeing up beds, is it? Oh, the government We're not be releasing proud. Karen to some monster. We're letting her go to foster care. It is a perfectly legitimate response. You know very well, given the circumstances, she will be returned to her family within a matter of days, and that will destroy her. You've let yourself get too involved in this case. She's a child. And you're a doctor. Where's your objectivity? Where's your compassion? You, there's no actual advantage to being heartless. Our you know? objectivity saves lives. You've identified so closely with this patient that your emotions have taken over. It's a dangerous precedent. Oh, don't patronize me. You are dead wrong about this, Alex, but you're too close to see it. You're totally irrational. Go off the case. There's no need to overreact. I don't want you near that child. You can remove me from the case, but you know something's not going to change your problem. We still have to work together. Oh, well, then I will move this foundation out of Pine Valley. You can't do that. Demetrius will specifically state that you can't. I don't care. I can. will break it. I don't want anything more to do with you. Well, I think that can be arranged. <sighs> Aren't you going to welcome me home, Alex? Welcome home. <laughs> she didn't miss me. How about you? Welcome home. found a way to uh, entertain yourself. Just a day in the life. What happened? Alex can't tolerate any other view other than her own. You mean all that anger was all about a professional disagreement? Well, it started out that way, but then it disintegrated. I called her on being, losing objectivity with a patient. I told her that she was being irrational, and she lost it. Well, of course, because the truth was much too much for her to bear. Mm. You look worried. Unstable or not, she has the power to remove the foundation. 
or even kill it if she wants to, if I keep pushing her. I gotta, I gotta do something to get this woman out of here. Maybe I can help you. Oh, really? You have a one-way ticket to Kathmandu? <laughs> something much more permanent. I promise you, David, Alex is not gonna be a problem for us ever again. Does this information have anything to do with the fact that you were impossible to reach? You did go to Switzerland, didn't you? Well, of course I did. Yes. I just took a little side trip. So where were you when you called me? Taking care of business. Enchantment? Yours. What did you do? Wales is beautiful at this time of year. If you like it cold, dark, and dank, what did you do? I saw the sights. Including uh, a certain mental institution. You did it. Somebody had to. You promised that you would stay out of my business. David, I promised you that because it made you so happy. But I certainly had no intention of sitting on the sidelines and wringing my hands. You know that's not my way. So you'll say whatever I want to hear, but you'll do pretty much as you please. I'm a woman of action. Does honesty and, and, and truthfulness mean anything in this relationship? Oh, David, come on. You know that our relationship is so much more evolved than that. I do a lot more than stand by my man. And he better be able to keep up. You know, I don't know whether I should kiss you or swat you. Well, do you want to play Neanderthal or do you want to hear my news? Why is it the more grief you give me? the more I love you. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> right now, you really should sit down and listen. Because you won't believe what your co-director has been hiding. <laughs> hey, Paolo. How you doing, buddy? This is Leo. How the ladies treating you? Are you up for some fun? Oh, I wouldn't have called unless it was worth your time. Yeah, you meet me later? All right, I'll see you then. All right, bye-bye. So you knew for a fact that Alex was a patient there? Absolutely. Even though no one on the staff was willing to say so. Well, the hospital has a fiduciary responsibility to honor Alex's privacy. They wouldn't be eager to share that information with a stranger. That's when I went to London. Not for the fish and chips. I wanted to find you the perfect present that would let you know exactly how much I missed you. So, did you find what you were looking for? I made some calls. I dropped a few names. Including your own, I'm sure. And I found some people who were willing to talk. Okay, out with it. What did you find? According to several very reliable sources, Alex wound up in the insane asylum right after an important dignitary disappeared. Go on. David, his name is Jeffrey. Jeffrey Ashford. Erica, she called me Jeffrey. I told you that. Yes, you did. I know, when she pushed you down the stairs. <sighs> How can I put this delicately? Apparently, Alex was the last person to see Mr. Ashford alive. Are you saying she killed him? 